hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to get multiple selected checkbox values into a text box control using C sharp and here we got the final output we got a checkbox list control one button control and one text box control I'm selecting some text box list controls Java jQuery and bootstrap when I click submit, so notice here I got the Java, jQuery, and Bootstrap. If I unselect any of the selected checkbox, suppose Java is I have unselected, see Java is gone from the text box control. I got all the text box list items in the text box control. Now I am unselecting all the checkbox list items submit see the text box control is clear now if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the templates I'm choosing where and I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1 the application name is selected checkbox list text box click OK and from the templates I'm selecting empty click OK And here the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding the web form page. I click the project name. Add new item. I'm selecting web form. The web form name is checkbox list text box. Add. And here we got the source page. Now, between the form and due tag, I'm adding center tag H1. How to get multiple selected checkbox list values into text box control. horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding the checkbox list control open toolbox here is the checkbox list control double click that one now in this checkbox list control I'm adding some list items ASP list item Java ASP list item C sharp ASP list item jQuery ASP list item bootstrap ASP list item MVC just for the demo purpose I'm adding only five list items in this checkbox list control but default the checkbox list items are in the vertical direction just for the convenient I'm adding the direction repeat direction horizontal that's it after after adding the checkbox control now I'm adding adding one button control and one text box control open toolbox button control break and one text box control go to toolbox text box control and the text mode is a multi line height 
seventy pixels width one fifty pixels and the button text value submit that's it we have done the designing part now the left hour is the coding part switch to the design mode double click the button control and here we got the button click event here I'm adding one string type checkbox select after that I'm adding for loop for integer i is equal to 0 i is less than checkbox list one dot items dot I'm counting the selected items from the text box control so I'm adding here count property semicolon i plus plus if checkbox list one dot items the items takes the integer data type our integer data type is the i object dot selector property now inside this if condition I'm checking the object reference the selected type of the checkbox must be the string type if checkbox select double equals to notice here in this if condition I have added double equals to operator which means whatever the objects I'm selecting from this checkbox list control must be the same data type string type only if you add single equals to notice here we got an error cannot implicitly convert type string to boolean so we need to add double equals to checkbox select is equals to checkbox list one dot items i dot text property else if I select multiple checkbox list values just copy this code here just press plus comma plus text box one dot text is equals to checkbox select else if If I unselect all the checkbox list items, the text box must be clear. I want to clear the text box control. Checkbox search key box select is equals to text box one dot text. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now it's time to check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. We got a checkbox list control, one button control and one text box control. I'm selecting some text box list controls, Java, jQuery and Bootstrap. When I click submit, so notice here, I got the Java, jQuery and Bootstrap. If I unselect any of the selected checkbox, suppose Java is I have unselected. See, Java is gone from the text box control. I got all the text box list items in the text box control. Now I am unselecting all the checkbox list items. Submit. See the text box control is clear now. That's it.